to evacuate a little area in the kind of lower bowl of Stadium One. And then they're going to try and bring the, the camera down. Here it is. That's where the Queen Bee is. We believe. <laughs> Very good. We've got to make the most of it, don't we? And I mean, this never happens. I mean, it happened in Guadalajara, I believe, uh, 2022. But that was a, a nest above the umpire's chair. But I mean, he's just got the industrial vacuum cleaner there. It doesn't look like oh anything. Any special? I mean, you sure he's a beekeeper? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll deal with this. Yeah. I can't he's believe he's no protective. No, he's gonna say, no equipment, nothing on. But uh, he's the man of the moment, and I just wonder what his uh, his call-out fee might be. I know. I heard it was here at the stadium. Yeah. Who's paying the bill here? That'll be a Mr. Larry Ellison. Okay. Had a few more zeros on. Yep. But he looks pretty calm and relaxed. He does. I think he's done it before. I think you might be right. So we're still not entirely sure how long this is going to go on for. But yeah, we, we believe that the Queen Bee is somewhere in there. So uh, as soon as we can kind of draw her out, hopefully, we should be able to get players back on. Remember, we were only two games into this one between Zverev and Alcaraz, one all in the first set. I just can't believe he's got nothing on, this guy. I guess, you know, when, you, when you've done it before, you know exactly what you're doing. I understand the situation, it's pretty relaxed. So pictures you didn't think you would see a couple of hours ago. So uh, yeah, we're basically 60 minutes on the dot since the uh, the bees came. I mean, the good news is the whole, at one point we were thinking the entire stadium was gonna have to be evacuated, but it's just that one kind of little section around here that uh, they've had to, to just leave for the time being. And uh, they'll be hopefully back in the next well what do we reckon half an hour or so all being well let's just have a little look what the the players have been up to whilst all this has been going on <laughs> i have heard on social media that alcaraz got stung in the head mm. uh, we saw him dash out that was uh, one of the reports via his agent albert molina because it looked as though um, Mohamed Leani had also been stung, didn't yep. it? So yeah. I think Zverev hopefully got away unscathed. So this is what uh, he's been up to. Oh, it's not going to help. He's a Bayern Munich supporter, isn't he? Yeah. You better stay away from our boys. Sabi Alonso, we need him. Absolutely, Robbie. Yeah. yeah. And this is Alcaraz still looking pretty relaxed backstage. That's his agent with the black hat on that I believe passed on a message to Spanish TV, I think it was, to say that he got uh, zapped on the forehead. He seems to be okay. Yeah, so we just saw uh, Elise Mertens go by as well. She's playing a little bit of doubles out on uh, Stadium 3. And matches out on B Court weren't interrupted either well that's where i thought they came from <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is getting ridiculous <laughs> i think we might have pictures of where we believe alcaraz got stung just there so yeah hopefully he's okay seemed to be in pretty good spirits didn't he backstage just a second ago Well, some people can get pretty bad reactions, can't they? You can. If they're, you can. they're stung from the bee. So, yeah, fortunately, it seems as though he's okay. Juan Carlos Ferrero with a bit of a grin in the background. Okay, well, there's far fewer now than there once were. So, uh, this man is working his magic. Need to get this man's name. Give him a bit of a shout out here. Yeah.
So all being well, we are not too far away from uh, Zverev and Alcaraz walking back onto Stadium One. We're just under, uh, just hearing that when this man's work is done, it'll be about 10 minutes or so before the players make their way back onto court. And then they will, of course, be entitled to a full warm up because they've been off the court for just over an hour now. So yeah, hopefully by around the top of the hour, we will be able to bring you live tennis with uh, Medvedev and Runa still to come a little later on as well. That was supposed to be a not before 6 p.m. local time, which is in about an hour and a half's time from now. So uh, oh, he's just got bees all over him, doesn't he? So I hope he's all right, but hopefully he can sort this out as quickly as possible. So uh, whilst we are waiting for uh, B gate to be wrapped up. We're going to take you back to that match we were just watching and join it in the second set with uh, Marajan at 2 3.